Coming to you from 50 Oliver, this is Easton News, and my name is Joseph Taft. And I'm Jack Ryan. Today is Friday, February 23rd, 2024. Nomination papers for the 2024 annual town election are available from January 2nd through February 28th at 5 p.m. The election calendar with candidate deadlines, the positions on the ballot, and a complete candidate packet are available on the town's website. Interested candidates are invited to call 508-230-0530 or email townclerksoffice at easton.ma.us with any questions. Voters who have applied for a vote-by-mail ballot can track the status of their application and the mailing of their ballots at the link below. The annual town election is scheduled for Saturday, April 20th, 2024. Polls will be open from 10 a.m. through 4 p.m. All voting precincts will vote at Oliver Ames High School, located at 100 Lothrop Street. Health and Community Services is offering transportation to vote at the primary elections on Tuesday, March 5th. If you or a loved one are in need of transportation, please call 508-230-0690, extension 2, by Friday, March 1st. On Monday, October 30th, 2024, Eastern Wings of Hope proudly received a prestigious Blue Ribbon Award from the White House at the National Youth Substance Use Prevention Summit. The coalition recognized for its exceptional work in preventing youth substance use represented Massachusetts as the sole recipient of this national honor. This recognition extends over two years, positioning Eastern Wings of Hope as a role model in the prevention of the field. At the summit, attendees included Kelly Reed, Community Outreach Director at the Old Colony YMCA, Mary Nemmer, Old Oliver Ames High School alumni, and Colleen Less, Eastern Wings of Hope Steering Committee member and former chair of Eastern Public Schools. On February 29th at 3.30 p.m., Professor Shai Simonson will talk about his new book, Looking for Math in All the Wrong Places, Math in Real Life. This is a free and open event for all at the McFadden Library at Stonehill College, first floor of the South Wing, 320 Washington Street, Easton. Free parking will be in the Welcome Center lot. Meet local author Jenny Howe, who is joining the Ames Free Library to read from her second novel, On the Plus Side. Following the discussion, Miss Howe will hold a book signing. Both of her current book and her last book, The Makeup Test, will be available for purchase at the program. This event is free and open to all. No registration is required. It will be held in the Quisset House, the first floor presentation commons, Monday, February 26th at 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. The NRT will have a Sunday bird walk. As part of the NRT Wellness Walk series, spend the afternoon at Sheep Pasture Bird Watching. This walk will take you out to the Sheep Pasture Bird Blind, strengthen your birding skills, and enjoy the winter birds New England has to offer. Field guides and binoculars will be available for use during the program. This program is for teens and adults, and it will run on February 25th from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. Attention, Easton veterans and surviving spouses could you use some additional help this year paying for heating, fuel, transportation, food costs, or other needs. Please visit the website below or call 508-230-0690 for more information. Don't have time to stay up and watch your favorite shows? Like this one, obviously. Well, don't forget, ECAT has a YouTube channel. There, you can find all old episodes, but turn on notifications to be alerted when ECAT premieres news, features, and shows. You don't want to miss out. Our handle is at EastonCatTV with TV in capital letters, of course. The APCSM annual book sale is fast approaching. Friday through Sunday, March 8th through 10th. Peruse a variety of books of all genres, and your purchase is a donation to the Animal Protection Center of Southeastern Massachusetts. Games, puzzles, CDs will be available, plus baked goods as well. Friday evening, 4 to 7, will consist of the book sale and open house. Saturday will take place 10 to 3, consisting of the book sale and the bake sale. Then, the same events will take place Sunday from 10 to 1. The APCSM will be accepting book donations beginning on February 12th, 2024, so drop off between 9 a.m. through 5 p.m. daily. Do you know an Eastern resident or an organization that benefits the community? Do you or someone you know have a special talent or a skill set that you would like to show off to your community? Well, ECAD has numerous shows and segments that may be a good fit for you. ECAD has always represented the talent and diversity of the people of Easton, and we want to highlight you. Email info at eastoncat.org to let us know what you want to see on our channels. We want to hear from you. The Tricentennial Committee is still looking for volunteers to help out in several areas, so if you'd like to help Easton celebrate its 300th birthday, you can email easton300.2025 at gmail.com or visit their website at easton300.org. The Friends operate the book sale room at Quisset House, which is open from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mondays through Thursdays and 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. They are accepting donations of gently used books in very good condition during the Saturday hours. Please visit the Ames Free Library website for their donation guidelines. Calling all local artists, the Easton Shovel Town Cultural District, in partnership with ECAT, is excited to announce the return of its arts and media show and reception on April 6th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. at 50 Oliver Street in North Easton. We are now accepting applications from local artists to display and sell their art at this community art celebration. For artist application and instructions, visit easton.ma.us 
slash Shoveltown Cultural District or email arodriguez at easton.ma.us. The deadline to apply is March 1st. Join Holy Cross Family Ministries for a transformative event that will deepen your encounter with Jesus in Blessed Sacrament. The Vigil Project Lenten True Presence Night, Eucharistic Adoration Music and Witness, presented by the Vigil Project and hosted by the Holy Cross Family Ministries. This is an experience you will feel and carry with you forever. Held at the Holy Cross Church 225 Purchase Street in Easton, Mass. on Saturday, March 9th at 7 p.m. This free program welcomes people of all ages and religious backgrounds. Please follow the link below for more information. After the break, you're going to find out who is this week's Pet of the Week. This is Easton News. I didn't see you there. Sick of all the new shows and movies dominating pop culture? Well, have no fear, because Old Time Movie and Old Time TV are here, where we like to add our own flair. There's, there's a truck out front, and if, if we could just get the keys... Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Those are flesh-eating zombies. They upended our car, okay? We're lucky to be alive, especially Joe. I had to pull him out of the trunk, for crying out loud. <sighs> it's been a long day. Also, make sure to check out the Radio Cast, our accompanying podcast where we talk about what we've watched. There was a lot of moments of just <laughs> Mac on the raft, going down the river, just it's internal like, monologuing over and over and over. We show the classics and nothing but the classics. Well, except for the weird ones. Check us out on all our channels as well as our YouTube. If the Borderland event alone doesn't satisfy your owl itch, join the NRT at Sheep Pasture for an adult-only owl prowl. They will discuss the different types of owls that can be found at sheep pastures and then search for them while hiking the trails. Each participant will receive their own owl pellet dissection kit to take home. Following the hike, join them for food and drinks at Shoveltown Brewery. This is an optional part of the night and is not required of any participants, but it will be a good time. This is a great opportunity to connect with friends, meet new people interested in the outdoors, and enjoy the darker side of life. This event is only for adults 21 ages... Uh, 24... 21... Okay. This event is only for adults 21 years of age and over. It will be March 13th from 6 to 7 p.m. and tickets cost $12 to $15. Go to nrtofeaston.org and go under the NRT Store tab for more. The Hockamock Film Festival is back. If you're a high school student in the Hockamock League, the categories are shorts, drama, comedy, or others, documentaries, and PSA. Cash prizes for the winner. The deadline to enter is May 13th. To enter, go to hockamockfilmfestival.com. Now it's time for the APCSM Pet of the Week. We have some pets that are looking for their forever home, so let's take a look. <laughs> the 
the APCSM has plenty of friendly, lovable guinea pigs waiting to find their forever home. Each guinea pig is unique, but if one thing's for sure, they sure do love their veggies. If you're thinking about adopting a guinea pig, fill out a small pet animal adoption application on APCSM.org. Meet Buddy. Buddy is a fun-loving adult pit bull terrier who is looking for his forever home. Buddy is looking for a home where he can be a dog's dog. He would make a wonderful companion for someone who is looking to throw the ball around in the backyard or hang out on the couch. Buddy likes to talk and can get pretty excitable. He loves his walks, stuffed toys, and just curling up in a comfy spot for quiet time. Dogs like Buddy tend to spend a very long time waiting in a shelter for a home. If Buddy sounds like a good fit for you or someone you know, please share his story or fill out a dog adoption application on our website, apcsm.org. From February 1st through March 15th, the Ames Free Library cradles to crayons, the Boston Bruins, Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners, and Wonder Fund are coming together to collect new pajamas for local children living in low income and homeless situations. They are looking for brand new pajamas appropriate for all seasons from sizes 0 to 3 months through adult medium. Please do not give any pajamas that include any family or holiday references. Accepting donations can be dropped off at the circulation desk. This February, the Ames Free Library and Shaw's are joining forces. This month, when you purchase a $3 ba a reusable bag, $1 will be donated to the Ames Free Library. So head down to the Easton Shaw's located at 690 Depot Street in North Easton and purchase a bag to help out the library. Tiles at the Temple join the Temple High of Shalom on 239 Depot Street in Southeast, and it will be a friendly afternoon of Mahjong. This event is on March 17th at 1 p.m. The doors will open at 1230. Play begins promptly at 1. You can RSVP by March 10th, and it will cost $36 per person. When we come back, the Boy Scouts have the pick dinner special for you. And OA Sports are getting ready for the playoffs. Find out how they're managing. You're watching Easton News. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, residents of Easton, friends and neighbors. This is Bill Ames, co-host uh, with Priscilla Omquist Olson of The Film Connection. On ECAT now for over 20 years. So we're very proud of that. And we like to interview guests from Easton who have been involved in the film business. Actors, uh, producers, we're very fortunate to, today to have a producer of a film. Hey, are you a fan of history? If so, come for adventure with me, your host Drew Darty, as we explore some of the most impactful events of all time. We talk about U.S. history. These events led up to the creation of the first continental Congress, world history. The Allied forces consist of France, the United Kingdom, Russia, Japan, and Italy, and influential figures. The legacy of Martin Luther King is one of selflessness, and they never stop believing in the equal and free America. You'll get my takes and opinions, so come along for adventure on Drew's Venture History TV. Check us out between your recently scheduled programming as well as on YouTube. Thank you. Welcome back, folks. It is that time for your upcoming seven-day weather forecast, so let's kick it over to Chief Meteorologist Adam Carrero. This is your ECAT weekly weather forecast. Friday we have clouds with some showers. The weekend we have a mixture of sun and clouds, mid 30s to low 40s. The work week we have higher than average temps and high 40s even hitting 50, but it comes with rain happening here and there. I'm Adam Carrero and this has been your ECAT weekly weather forecast.
get ready to laugh. On Friday, March 15th, the Easton Lions Club with We Do Care are hosting a stand-up comedy night. This event will be at the Hall on Foundry Street, 375 Foundry Street in Easton. Tickets cost $30 prior to the show and $40 at the door. To purchase tickets beside at the door, you can go to EastonLions.org. Like watching this show or any other ECAT programming? Well, that doesn't happen without help and support from viewers like you. ECAT is a nonprofit organization and it relies on some help from the viewers. If you would like to help, you can submit a small donation on our website, EastonCAT.org, and continue the running of ECAT programming. Just go to the main page, scroll down until you see the donation options or the QR code. And as a bonus, when you donate $15 to ECAT, you will get a cat. Not a real one, the APCSM has those, but this nice plush one can be yours with a small donation. The Easton Knights of Columbus will be hosting a meat raffle on February 25th. Doors will open at 1.30 for the ticket sales and the raffle will begin at 3. Feel free to bring a snack for your table along with some friends. Come on down and try your luck at winning some great meat packages from Crescetti's. Easton Boy Scout Troop 42 is hosting a spaghetti dinner fundraiser on Sunday, March 3rd from noon to 4 p.m. at the Covenant Congregational Church at 204 Center Street in Easton. Tickets are available online in person from a Troop 42 Scout or at the door. Tickets are $8 per person or $30 for a family of up to four people. Your dinner will include an all-you-can-eat spaghetti with sauce, meatballs, garlic bread, drinks, and dessert. There will also be a silent auction to bid on themed gift baskets. A new Easton competition is happening this summer that will have you racing around town. And I have your sports recap for you. You're watching Easton News. Hi there, this is Julie Brennan of We Do Care, and this is... Marky V from the Easton Lions Club. And we're here because we wanted to invite you to the most exciting event on Friday, March 15th, to our comedy show. Easton Lions is partnering with We Do Care to provide an amazing, fun community event. Yes, and Julie, it's to raise money for both of our great causes, the Easton Lions Club and We Do Care. Um, and we have two great stand-up comedians. Um, one is Jim Colleton, and the other one is Kelly McFarland. Um, the, it's at 375 Foundry Street, which is also known as the Knights Hall on, well, off of 106. Um, doors will be opening at 7, and the show will be starting at 8, and there'll be raffles and prizes and all sorts of stuff. And it's $30 when you order your tickets online prior to the event. If you pay at the door, it's going to be $40. I do need to tell you, though, get your tickets quick within the next week or two because we've already sold 25% of them. Uh, tickets are on sale now um, at both of our websites, uh, eastonlions.org or wedocare.org. You're going to love the show. Kelly McFarlane, I've seen her in person. Hilarious. And Jim Colleton is very funny. And, and both comedians were recommended by our uh, big comedian friend, Tony V. And thank you so much, guys, for supporting local charities. Easton Lions has been amazing over the years for providing support for the community of Easton and I research. And then we do care. We provide support for widows, widowers, and children that have lost a parent. If you haven't heard of us, please visit our website at wedocare.org. We're based right here in Easton. And we just want to say it again, Friday, March 15th, 7 o'clock, Holland Foundry Street, in Eastern Mass. Thank you. Hope to see you there. Hi. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Jonathan Coe with the Eastern Historical Society. I'm one of the directors here, and I want to uh, really talk to you about our upcoming open house uh, on this uh, February 25th. That's a Sunday from 12 to 4. Our feature will be recipes and cookbooks. Uh, where we have a great, great collection of some historic cookbooks. Uh, and I'll kind of show you what we have already. Uh, but really the main part of this show would be people from around in Easton uh, bringing in their own recipes or cookbooks from their grandmother, their mother, their great-great-grandmother, and sharing them uh, while you're here. And, uh, and also taking a look at all the recipes that we have and taking your phone out and taking pictures of it, anything you'd want to do. So I want to share with you what we have. Wishing you all to come down on the 25th, Sunday the 25th from 12 to 4, our uh, open house on recipes and menus. So looking forward to seeing you. Have a great, great day and see you then.
The Eastern Historical Society will be hosting their monthly open house this month. Find out what was cooking in the town of Easton back in the day, where they will be featuring cookbooks and recipes found around town. The event will be held on Sunday, February 25th from 12 to 4 at the Historical Society and Museum, located at 80 Mechanic Street in North Easton. Want to get involved in an exciting race around historic North Easton? Apply to be on Expedition Easton, a local version of the amazing race produced by ECAT. This summer, six pairs, 12 contestants, will get the chance to compete for the grand prize. All ages are welcome, but each pair must have one member at least over 18 years old. Think you've got what it takes to complete the expedition? We'll email info at eastoncat.org or call us at 508-230-7200. Casting has begun. Dates are set for June 22nd, 23rd, 29th, and 30th. The town of Easton is having the annual Easter egg hunt on March 23rd at Keech Park, 49 Chestnut Street. It will start at 11.30 a.m. Tickets are $5 and find more info at the rec desk on the town website. The Love for Lindley Foundation and the hashtag Love for Lindley movement grew organically out of the promise to fill Lindley's days with as much awesome, as much laughter, and as much love as possible while she bravely faced DIPG, diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, is a pediatric brain cancer with a 0% survival rate. The Love for Lindley Foundation will be having a St. Patrick's Day fundraiser. It will take place March 8th at 6 p.m. On the, at the Easton VFW on 61 Rockland Street in Northeaston. The Luck for Lindley St. Patrick's Party is a 21 and up event with food, music, raffles, and fun. Tickets are $50 per person and include a buffet dinner. Don't forget to wear green. Luck for Lindley gear will be available for purchase at the event. Buy-in tickets for the Pong Tournament will be sold at the event. To get tickets, you can go to loveforlindley.org and go under the Events tab. Spinathon has quickly become one of the most anticipated annual fundraising events at the Old Colony YMCA. Every year, hundreds of Y members, volunteers, and supporters gather to cycle on stationary bikes and raise money to support children and families in need throughout the local communities. Join them for Spinathon on Saturday, March 23rd at Shoveltown Brewery for a Zumbathon and Aqua Zumbathon at the Easton Y. To register or view the class offerings, you can visit the link below to reserve your spot. Registering will automatically create your personal fundraising page. Every dollar you raise will support the Y and your local community. Join the Old Colony YMCA in Easton for a 100% free blood pressure evaluation and take action if needed with their Healthy Heart Ambassadors. Tuesday, February 27th from 9 to 4 p.m. at 25 Elm Street in Easton. Get your free evaluation and if you qualify, Join the Healthy Heart Ambassadors for a four-month program designed to build and strengthen proper blood pressure self-monitoring habits. Participants are provided ongoing personalized support as they strive to achieve their goals. Now it's time for your weekly OA Sports Recap. Welcome back to your weekly OA Sports Recap. Playoffs are fast approaching, so let's get into the week that was February 15th through 22nd, 2024. On Thursday, OA Girls Basketball hosted Sharon at the Nixon Gymnasium in what was their senior night. Cadence Durba, Sarah Hilliard, Catherine Farley, and Annie Riley were honored. Sharon, who hasn't won a game this season, actually played OA pretty well through three quarters, but were unable to stay in it late as the Tigers ran away with a 70-45 victory. Avery Gamble led in the scoring department with 16 points, with Sarah Hilliard following suit with 13 of her own to go along with six blocks in this one. On Friday, OA boys basketball traveled to Foxborough and got their first road win of the year, 74-49. They won the second quarter by a score of 26-2, and that ended up being the difference maker. Senior captain Jake Willard led the Tigers with 13 points, while Zach Ivanoski had 12. Meanwhile, OA girls basketball hosted league-leading Foxborough at the Nixon Gymnasium that same night, as the Tigers were unable to hang around. Even though the Tigers were able to hold last year's Hawk MVP Cameron Collins to single digits, Foxborough still opened up a massive lead in the first half, and they never looked back, folks. This marks Foxborough's second straight undefeated season in the Hockamock League. Final score was 68-44. Gamble was the leading scorer again for the Tigers with 18 points. On Saturday, the mansfield slash Oliver Ames girls hockey team traveled to Bishop Fian and were defeated 4-0. On Sunday, OA girls basketball got back on track in the Spartan Classic at St. Mary's in Lynn. They held a top 10 ranked Andover team to just 24 points in a 43-24 victory. The Tigers came to play defensively as Andover didn't score until their 14th possession. Gamble led with 15 and Cadence Durba had 11. With the win, they moved on in the tournament to the championship. On Monday, the Oliver Ames slash Mansfield girls hockey team traveled to Bishop Fian and they were defeated 5-2. Boys hockey traveled to Westwood and lost 2-1, with Jack Corey being the lone goal scorer for the Tigers. 
On Tuesday, girls basketball played for the title of the Spartan Classic against hometown favorites St. Mary's. They trailed by two points going into the second quarter, as well as halftime. Cameron Durba knocked down a three to cut that lead to just one heading into the fourth. Late in the fourth, Cadence Durba converted a tough layup. Then Gamble knocked down a big three-pointer to put OA up by one with just six seconds to go. But it was St. Mary's who got the last laugh in this one, hitting a shot with no time left in regulation to take the one-point victory 50-49 to over the Tigers. Overall, it seems like OA competed in some great competitive games over this February break tournament, which should prepare them for the upcoming Hockamock playoffs. Gamble led the team again with 17, continuing a very strong offensive season. OA boys basketball traveled to Braintree and played spoiler, taking down a playoff-bound Womp squad in a 66-61 finish. The win was once again fueled by a strong second quarter, as Justin Grimaldi and Jefferson Smock finished with 18 and 16, respectively. The boys finished their year very strongly after a very tough start to the season. That's going to wrap up your OA Sports Recap for this week. Make sure to stay tuned into ECAP for information on the OA Girls Basketball Playoff game that is upcoming at the Nixon Gymnasium. Until then, go Tigers. Thank you for watching. This has been Joseph Taft, and why is Cinderella not very good at soccer? And I'm Jack Ryan. She keeps running away from the ball. This has been Easton News.